Hey everybody, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the freeze drying room. We're actually taking a break this week from freeze drying because we have kind of a unique opportunity that I really want to take advantage of. So I just happen to have both types of oiled vacuum pumps from Harvestrite together in one room. And I've noticed that there's not another video that compares these two together. And if you're looking to buy a Harvestrite freeze dryer or you already have one and you're looking to possibly upgrade your pump, uh, now is going to be your opportunity to weigh out all the options. So I figured today was a good opportunity in order to give you all of the information that you need, set the two pumps side by side, uh, in order to make an informed decision. <laughs> Let me just give you a quick rundown of the two options you have when it comes to oiled pumps with the Harvestrite. So when you're considering buying a Harvestrite freeze dryer, you have three choices of pumps. Your first option is the standard pump. This is the one that's included uh, with, with no extra cost. It's included with all different versions, all different sizes of the freeze dryer. Your second option would be a $700 upgrade, and this would get you up to the Premier Pump, which comes in this lovely lime green color. Your third and final option as of the, the time of this recording is an oil-free pump, and that's a $1,500 upgrade. If you're considering the Harvest Dry oilless pump, we're not going to do that in this video, but I can assure you there's one coming up. So I'm going to start off with just some basic measurements of the pumps, just to give you an idea of the difference in size of pumps. It might not be an issue to you, but one pump is, uh, is a decent amount bigger than the other one. So side by side, you can see that the Premier Pump is a bit taller. The Premier Pump is just about 12 inches tall to the tallest part. The standard pump is just about 10 and a half. The width of both of them is almost identical, about five and a half inches, and that's to the widest point. Length is also very close. The Premier is just a bit bigger, uh, about 16 and a half inches. The standard is 16 inches long. The weight of these might surprise you though. So the standard pump weighs a pretty hefty 37 pounds. And even though the Premier Pump is a good amount larger than the, the standard pump, it weighs 34 pounds. So at a glance, these are very similar pumps. They're both 7 CFM. They're both 3 quarter horsepower pumps. They'll both just run on a, a regular 120 volt outlet. So why is one $700 more? than the other one. So I've run both these pumps side by side now for a couple of months because I have two freeze dryers and I've come to a few conclusions why the Premier Pump is a $700 upgrade from the standard pump. And those three things are the amount of maintenance, the amount of noise they produce, and the third is more of my personal opinion and that would be quality and reliability. So I've been freeze drying for more than three years now and I've had uh, two different freeze dryers now and three different pumps. And the first pump I have was made by a company called JB Industries. And while the vacuum pump was a, a pretty good quality vacuum pump and it was, it was definitely a workhorse, you had to change the oil every single time you did a freeze dry cycle. And for me, it got to the point where that was so annoying that I almost didn't want to freeze dry anymore. So somewhere around late 2017, early 2018, Harvestrite started using this standard pump as a replacement for that JB pump. And the great thing about this pump over that JB pump is that this pump would go four to five cycles without having to have the oil changed. And that was mostly because this pump did a lot better job of separating the gunk and the moisture that would get into the oil of that JB pump and that little improvement for me being a freeze drying nerd was really exciting until they came out with the Premier Pump. Because when that happened, all of a sudden, you didn't have to change the oil for 20 to 25 batches, which is a whole lot of freeze drying. And that basically meant that even if you were freeze drying 24 seven, that you'd only be changing the oil about once a month in this. And since I received my Premier Pump, I was amazed at how long this oil stays clear and clean. This oil pump just does an incredible job of separating gunk and water and keeping it out of the oil. But that does come at a cost. During the first week I had this, I was pretty alarmed because this actually separates the water so well that it vaporizes the water and puts it into the air. And I came down here one day into the basement and the entire basement looked like an 80s hair metal video. 
And it's not a smoke, it's a water vapor, so it doesn't smell and it's not harmful to you, but it, if, it, if you don't expect it coming, it can catch you off guard. And it really only happens, I don't know, one out of every 10 cycles usually. Let's go ahead and move on to our second comparison, which is gonna be a pretty big factor in people's decision, and that's the noise that these put out. And a lot of people don't realize that the noisy part of a freeze dryer, more of the noise comes from the vacuum pump. The freeze dryer is actually relatively quiet. Uh, it's similar to a refrigerator. It has that same kind of uh, compressor condenser sound to it because many of the components in the freeze dryer are very similar. The vacuum pump can potentially be noisier than the freeze dryer. So I'm gonna try and do this as scientific as I possibly can. I'm gonna measure the sound using a sound app on my phone and I'm gonna place the phone an equal distance away from the pumps and I'm gonna run both pumps, same machine, using the same hose, same everything. The only different, the only variable is going to be the difference in pumps. So I've got my phone sitting about six feet away from the pumps. Right now the standard pump is hooked up and we're gonna try that one first. I'm gonna give you the entire sound all the way from startup up to about 1500 millitors. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Turn our vacuum on, it's just the vacuum on right now. So that's pretty darn close. We're right at about five minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and click, click done. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I did the same test with the, uh, the sound meteor yesterday when I was doing my three year review video and it was actually like three or four decibels higher. I don't know if it's because I used it on the old freeze dryer or it's because the, uh, the placement of the sound, the decibel meter, but uh, it, it really was about 64 to 65 decibels. That's pretty impressive. So if you go to Harvest Right's website, you can actually compare the two pumps on their site and they do claim that it's 64 decibels and that's impressive, that's good. The Premier pump they say is 52 decibels. That might be a little tricky. 52 decibels is pretty quiet. That's about the sound of a dishwasher. A dishwasher, even a louder dishwasher, is still pretty quiet. So Harvest Right set a high bar for you. I hope you're up for it. All right, I'm going to click reset on my sound meter so there's no discrepancies. And we're going to get this Premier Pump fired up. So I would imagine on the mic, you can notice almost immediately that it's a lot less abrasive sound that comes out of this one. Let's see what it does for uh, decibel wise. All right, so about three and a half minutes and we're below 1500 now. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Well, it didn't hit 52 decibels, but I did see it dip down to 57, around 58. Um, it seemed to hover like around 59 or 60, which doesn't sound like a huge difference, but, and I don't, it might, it might just be the, the type of noise it produces too. Um, it's a lot softer sounding. And hopefully my microphone actually picks up the different type of noise that it puts out. I know that's kind of hard to describe and kind of hard to understand, but, but that's a pretty good segue into my third comparison, which is quality and reliability. So when it comes to freeze drying, 
your reliability for a vacuum pump is a big deal because this is the workhorse or the engine really of the of the freeze dryer and just like any type of motor or engine whether it's your car or a freeze dryer you want it to be reliable you want it to run smooth you want it to run cool and to me that's where these two differ quite a bit and i want to preface this by saying this standard pump works just fine it does the job it does what it's supposed to do the premier pump just does it better i'm not sure if you caught it in the video from a couple minutes ago but when i was pulling the vacuum on the premier pump um, i pointed to the screen and i was trying to show you how much faster the premier pump pulled a vacuum to a, a lower millitor than the standard pump did that's just one small example but i have noticed too when i've run both of these at the same time with both freeze dryers this one tends to run quite a bit cooler than this one which over the course of time i would have to imagine would uh would increase your longevity of the pump the build quality of the premier pump as opposed to the standard is also uh, quite a bit nicer again there's nothing wrong with this pump just the premier pump uh, the fit and finish of it and you can just tell by getting your hands on it it's hard to capture on video but everything is just built a lot nicer it's a very good quality pump and the company that makes this pump for harvestrite is actually known um, for making very high quality products there's also a lot of little things that i've noticed um, i'm not sure if you noticed this one kind of shuddered a little bit when it started up maybe it's just this pump you know i don't i don't know if this is if it's the same with all pumps but just the smoothness of how the Premier runs over the standard is it runs like a sewing machine and it sounds it sounds smooth and it's quieter. Uh, the standard pump is just a it just is a little bit more loose. And just the difference in oil change intervals between these two should give you that should be a good indicator for you as far as uh, quality and reliability. But just to play devil's advocate, I will say that a lot of people have upgraded to this pump after the fact of buying this one or the oilless pump, which we have not featured on this video. Um, so there's, there's quite a few of these around on the second hand market, and you can pick them up for anywhere from $100 to $150, $175. So really, if you, if you, even if you go through this pump once a year, it, it might be cheaper to keep this pump instead of this one. Like I said, it still does all the same stuff that this one does. The standard pump does everything you want it to do and it does it just fine. The Premier pump just does it a little better. So if you want the opinion of more than just one guy freeze drying in his basement, join our Facebook group or our MeWe group. There are thousands and thousands of freeze dryers on there and they'd be happy to give you their opinions. The freeze drying community is a very tight knit group of people and we love to help new people that are getting into freeze drying and share our experiences and our, and our knowledge. So post a comment and you'll get lots and lots of answers, lots of different opinions. As for me, I really love the Premier Pump. Um, I spent the extra 700 because I felt it was worth it. And I think over the course of time, I think it will, uh, it will shine and it will really prove its worth. I hope I was able to answer questions that you might have if you're getting ready to purchase a freeze dryer and really wondering about which pump you should go with. Um, I know it's kind of a tough decision and I hope that I covered everything that I could possibly think of today. And if I did, if you could just do me a favor and just press that like button until it turns blue and uh, hit the subscribe button if you, if you want to find out more about freeze drying. I release a video every Sunday. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.